Well, good morning, and thank you so much for joining me today. Hope you're all having a great day, a great week, and I'm really glad I get to share today. We're going to be in Ephesians chapter 6, verse 10 today. Ephesians chapter 6, verse 10. Very famous set of verses, and this is what we read starting in verse 10. Finally, Paul writes, be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. For our struggle, Paul writes, is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. There we go. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. You know, when I, I come to Ephesians 6, I'm reminded of a, a quote by a pastor named Simon Holly. He, Holly says this, he says, You need to know whether you were born on a battleship or a cruise ship. I love that. You need to know, you need to understand whether you were born on a battleship or a, a cruise ship. In, in other words, you need to understand whether or not you were born into a war where, where suffering and tragedy unfortunately should be expected at times or, or whether you were born on a cruise ship where you can live a life of ease, where you can simple, simply amble up to the all-you-can-eat buffet whenever you want and then lounge out on a deck chair. What world were you born into? You born on a battleship or on a cruise ship? And of course, I think Ephesians chapter 6 would say to us, no, you were born on a battleship. You were born in the midst of a war between the kingdom of darkness on the one hand and the kingdom of light on the other. And thankfully, we know what the winning side is going to look like. We know that, that the Lord has already won. Praise God for that. Now, I want to suggest to you today three reasons why it's imperative, why it's so important that we recognize we were born onto a battleship and not a cruise ship, why we were born into the midst of a war. And so let me, let me list off these three reasons quickly. Number one, remembering that war, uh, war is so important because remembering that we're at war will encourage us to sacrifice. You know, when war comes to your doorstep, you understand that, that your finances are going to be affected. You understand that your free time is going to be effective. And so when we understand that we're in the midst of a real war, then, then we become people who hopefully more readily are, 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 are willing to give. Because we understand, no, no, we need to give to the war effort that the kingdom of God might be advanced. And, and it's going to require sacrifice. On our part, it's going to require that, that we sacrifice our free time, that, that we serve in order to advance the war effort, in order to spread the kingdom of God. So we, we can't simply come home and see how far we can get through our Netflix queue each night, how many episodes we can watch. No, we understand that we're called to, to give ourselves to the war effort, that it's going to require real sacrifice, the sacrifice of our free time. Secondly, remembering that we're at war will encourage us not to let our guard down. You know, if you're living in a war zone, you know you can't just walk out your front your front door and then just head anywhere. If you head to the wrong area, you can be taken out by the enemy. And in the same way, we, we understand that that, that we can't just explain away our sin. We can't just justify it. We, we can't just push it down and pretend as if it's not there because there's a real enemy who wants to take us out. That if we allow our sin to take us to the wrong place at the wrong time, the enemy can use the sin to take us out. So we don't let our guard down. We walk conspicuously. We're careful about what we're doing. We're careful about what we're saying. We're careful about, about who we're partnering up with because we know that there is a real enemy who wants to take us out. And then lastly, quickly, remembering that war at war will encourage us to pursue real community. You know, I've never heard about anyone winning a war as an individual. You know, if you're going to win a war, you need other soldiers around you who can give you strength, who can give you insight, 
who can protect your back, who can encourage you when you, when you need it. And when we understand and we remember that we're at war, that we were born on a battleship, then, then we're going to be encouraged to, to find real community, to find real friendships within the church because we know that we need their encouragement, their strength, their insights, that we need other people watching our back. And so we're going to not isolate, but we're, we're going to join together with other believers. Friend, let us always remember we were born not on a cruise ship, but on a battleship. Let us remember that we were born into a real war with a real enemy. But let us also remember, church, that we already know that we have received the victory through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Well, God bless you, and I'll talk to you soon, Lord willing.